Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. I'm finally doing it. I'm going into Marie Kondo, my house, starting with clothes. Um, I finally finished the, what is it? The magic of tidying up or something like that yesterday. And it's like taken me all year to finish it, but what else is new? I'm gonna start with clothes. It's where you start. I mean, I feel like this point, like everyone knows what Marie Kondo is and like the Con Marie style, but basically like quick little synopsis of it. You go through your entire house section by section, not room by room. Um, and you hold on to the item and if it brings you joy, you keep it. And if you don't, you get rid of it. I really, really want, I've gotten like minimalistic in certain areas and have definitely cut back a lot through the years. However, clothes, and I've gone through my clothes like a multiple times, but like I'm gonna be intense about it today. So we're gonna do it. Like, can you tell how like agitated I am? Like anxious and like, it's already, it's already 11.30. This is gonna take forever. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be happy about it. And it's gonna be, I know it's gonna do like such good things. Every single person who I know has gone through the KonMari method has said how like life changing it is. Like you might think it's just decluttering and tidying up, but it's so much more than that. Like for me, I feel anxious all the time all the time and I feel like it's because I know yeah my house looks clean but I know if you open that drawer you couldn't get it closed again I know if you open that you couldn't close again so I think this will help a lot throughout the way I'm gonna kind of just do this as like a before and after because if I get sidetracked by like filming and getting angles and stuff it won't get finished and that I'm already sweating so I need the camera off so I can have the fan on but I'll show you a little bit of the before I guess sort of situation Oh, fingers crossed we get this all done my husband's gonna come home for lunch in like 30 minutes and he's gonna be pissed when he sees all the clothes out because like the whole process is like you get all of your clothes out so I know I have like swimsuits that don't fit me underneath the bed in like a little container there's a dresser that the camera is on right now that has six drawers which I use three or four of my husband uses the other ones this dresser here that's all my husband's stuff like I don't have anything in that dresser and then the closet and then I know I have some jackets hanging up in the hallway I have jackets hanging up in Ben's office do I have clothes anywhere else I have tons of clothes like on the top of my closet and like stuff behind in the back of my closet because I've been holding on to clothes that don't fit me anymore with hopes of fitting into them again someday a lot of clothes I keep purely because they fit me not because I necessarily like them and so then I don't ever gravitate 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 towards wearing them so there's no point in keeping them so i'm gonna go through all that i did declutter a lot of like the two small clothes um about a year ago and was holding on to things for like five six ten years of items that even if i got to that size i wouldn't want to wear and i know me well enough to know like when i lose the weight not if but when i lose the weight i'm gonna want to buy new clothes like that's the fun process of it all so i'll keep a couple like staple items like if they mean something to me but if not i'm just gonna let them go and it's gonna be okay. We're gonna have a lot of donations. Good thing they're tax writable. So let's get going. Um, I'm gonna do this kind of as a series in a sense. So the first process, like I said, is you do clothes. Um, and then I think the next series is books, which I'll go through books. I personally don't have very many books. I've gone through a majority of them. However, my children have tons of books. And so you're supposed to do like the whole house. So I'll go through my clothes. I'm not gonna do my kids clothes yet. And I'm not gonna do my husband's like, if he's fine living the way he's living, he can keep living like that. Um, my kids, I did go through their stuff again within the last year, but we could still definitely cut back on a lot of things, but that'll be like a whole nother thing. Like I just need to focus on me because like once my head's right, the whole house will be right. Like mom's in charge of everything. And if mom is upset, the whole house is upset. If I'm anxious, the whole house is anxious. So we're going to work on this. So we're going to get clothes done. Then we'll do books someday. Um, then there, it's like the miscellaneous, which I'm gonna do that as like my makeup, my perfumes, my, I have so much skincare and hair care and all of that I'll go through. And then next is papers, um, like bills and holding on to things. And then last is like sentimental items, which I do have a decent amount of sentimental items for me and the boys that I keep, like cards and stuff from family members or cards Ben sent me, which I won't get rid of those, but like there's definitely things I can downsize on. So. That is the process overall. But for now, we're gonna focus on clothes. We're gonna be happy about it. 
and we're gonna sweat a lot. I, I already know it's gonna happen. Oh well. So this top drawer here, that's like as far as I can open it. It's socks, it's bras, it's all kinds of miscellaneous stuff, which I have all the stuff in my closet already. So like this drawer never gets opened. This one in and of itself can go away. This one is swimsuits and then sweatpants because that makes sense. Uh, let's see, this one, oh, is more swimsuits. This one, oh, no, this is mine. These are like my, my tank tops that I wear with everything. This one is my husband's, and I think this one's my husband's as well. So I have four of those drawers, and then our bathroom, or our closet is through our bathroom. The lighting is terrible in here, but, so all, like, it's not pretty. But this is all my husband's stuff. This is my husband's side of the closet. He has a bar here, a bar here, and then he has the long hanging stuff. Like, I don't have a dress hanger, but I make it work. And those are all his as well. His isn't too bad. Mine? Oh. And if I tell you, like, within the last two years, I've probably gotten rid of 20 bags of clothes. And there's still this much stuff. So, <sighs> can you hear, like, in my voice? Like, just need to breathe. It's okay. We'll get through it. I think those are purses at the very top up there. But, it, again, we'll double check. I think that these ones have, like, winter stuff in them. Or, like, Christmas kind of stuff in them. So, I definitely need to go through that. These are all my shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, short sleeves, all of that. Then it kind of goes into jackets and like sporting stuff like Boise State and Seahawks. There's a bar up top and there's a bar down in the middle, but I needed it to hang dresses and stuff like that. So I just hang them all on top. Below here is an old, like, what do you call it, nightstand that I have stuff in it. If you look right there, there is a box of clothes that don't fit me. Um, and it's stacked all the way to the top. Like this whole corner back here, underneath is all clothes that don't fit me. That's where I put them. <laughs> um, and there's a lot, even after going through them. These are all the different pants I have. Shoes, I'll go through. Maybe during clothes, I'm not 100% sure. This is like a little random shelf I have that I have my underwear, my socks, some bras like that I don't even wear and then like my bras and like sports bras because the majority of what I wear is sports bras are up there these are all my leggings these are workout shirts that I don't wear because I only wear like these ones basically to work out in and the rest of this is stuff will go through like in the miscellaneous um like the hats and all of that stuff will go through during miscellaneous it's definitely overwhelming but we'll get it done. Like, like I, like I said, I already feel like I'm hard of breath. Like I did my hair and makeup. Why did I do my hair and makeup? I think I was like avoiding doing any of this. So we'll go for it from here. It's Wednesday. So the boys don't have school today. It's all online. Um, so they'll be in and out. I'm sure of it, but yeah, let's get going. I'll show you what it looks like to have everything piled on my bed. All the clothes that I have. I have only one load of like to have a load. Let's see if you can even see it. Like of laundry to get done, and that's Ben and mine. So and everything that's in there, obviously, is stuff I wear. So that doesn't matter. All the other laundry is done in the house. All right, enough stalling. Let's get it going. <sighs> To say I'm overwhelmed is an understatement. Um, I've been like fighting back tears on my own focus. Who cares? Um, number one, I had to like wipe my makeup off because I was so sweaty. I had to put my hair up. Um, and all I've done is taken all the clothes and put them out there. You're in the closet, so it's probably echoey and the lighting's terrible, but you get what you get. Um, <laughs> I like don't even know where to start. Like honestly and truly, like. I know I go get bags and I put the things I don't want to keep and I want to donate in the donate bags, but what do I do with the things I want to keep? Do I just keep piling those up? I don't want to pile them up on the ground. These are things I should have thought about before we got to this point. I don't know. I'm feeling like so many emotions right here. Like so many emotions. Um, like I think I'm embarrassed. Like a thousand percent I'm embarrassed. 
Um, I'm ashamed. I am overwhelmed. I am. <sighs> my husband just got home for lunch. Hence why I'm like kind of being quiet. And he, I told him I'm doing it, but he hasn't seen the clothes. And I'm anxious for him to be mad because it's a lot of money. And like I said, like over the last couple of years, I've gotten rid of probably 20 bags of clothes. So. <laughs> I was just saying how you're gonna be so pretty. Right, so I just got back from having lunch real quick. Not back, but just got done eating lunch. So now I have no more distractions. It's time to get this under control. Like I said, I'm feeling really indifferent about this. Um, I literally was fighting back tears when I was piling it all out there. One, because I think that this is a huge undertaking and I understand that this is gonna be a lot of hard work. Two, I'm embarrassed at how much stuff I have, like beyond embarrassed. And three, I'm embarrassed at how much of it doesn't fit me. Not necessarily because I hate being overweight, like obviously, <laughs> duh. But like, why am I held on to this for so long? There's so much stuff here. Like there's so many things that could be helping other people. Like I saw a bridesmaid dress. Um, I was a maid of honor in one of my best friend's wedding a couple of years ago or like a year ago and i love this dress it is so beautiful it's so pretty it's like a pale pink a little bit like paler than this and i wore it for halloween last year but i'm never gonna need it again like i'm sad to get rid of it like i as i was looking at it i know i'm gonna get rid of it because i know that somebody else can benefit from it more than i can so i appreciate like i don't know if i'll do the whole like I always call it hippy dippy, but I'm sort of hippy dippy now. So, but the whole you like thank the item for keeping you warm or for being there for you and whatever it is before you send it off. So, I'll try to embrace that, but I'm also going to try and do this as fast as possible. Like I said, I'm not going to show video of me doing the actual process because I know that that will. <clears throat> I'll be worried about the angles. I'll be worried like how ugly do I look in this like stupid shit that doesn't matter so when you get this done i'll check in with you like at some point <laughs> i was gonna say halfway but i don't know i think what i've decided what i'm gonna do is i'm going to have things i'm keeping on one side of i don't want to put them on the floor but i have nowhere else to put them um i have three dogs in my house right now we have two basset hounds of our own and we're watching we're house sitting um our neighbor's dog he's a german shepherd um and so i have two giant dog beds in my room right now so i'm gonna try and not get the clothes on that because i don't want things covered in dog hair i mean i just like deep vacuumed in here so we should be okay but also all three of these dogs shed so much but everything that i think i'm keeping i'm gonna put up to the right everything i want to donate i'm gonna put to the left i'm gonna do a little bit extra in the sense that um there's a couple items i know i want to save for my mom um, I'm larger than my mom and my mom and I have very similar styles. So there's a lot of things I know that she would like. And she like straight up asked me like, Hey, cause she's out of town right now. They're in California for like the next month, month and a half. Um, and she was saying how she wished she was here so she could go through the items. And so I know my mom's style. I'll send her some pictures of things that she'll like. And then my best friend Chalmers is coming in a week or two. She's going to house sit and stay with our boys while we're in Florida. So I know there's a couple items that she would like. She's definitely more like, she has like a much cooler style than I do. Like, I don't want to say like rock and roll, but like if we were going to characterize it, like she's way more like punk rock and roll and I'm like super peppy, like valley girl. Like I wear tons of bright colors. That's on her scene, but I have a couple dark items that I know that she would really like. And so I'll hold some of that stuff aside from her but other than that i'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible i'm not gonna think about the money that was wasted that's my biggest thing but quite frankly the money has already been spent it's already gone it already did its purpose um a lot of this stuff i bought at a time and i still continue i mean i have i was thinking about this i actually have a box of clothes that just came in the mail um in my office right now but i'm not gonna go through it yet because that's just too much for me at the moment like I'm just gonna stick to this at hand but a lot of this was when i am upset or if i was mad at ben like as stupid and irresponsible and like self-centered as that must be like when i was upset with ben i'd be like screw you i'm gonna spend your money 
I've worked past that. I'm not at that stage anymore. Or like if something didn't fit me, I'd be like super down and out about myself. I would just go buy a whole bunch of more things. I If I bought something from like Kohl's or Target or something like that, if it didn't work, I would return it. But everything else from other places, I wouldn't return. So my battery is blinking. I'm gonna get this done. We'll come back to like the whole emotional side of this and collect my thoughts, but it's time. It's time. I'm charging my camera, so I just picked up my phone real quick. So this basket, this is like a laundry basket, is stuff that I'm letting my mom and my friend go through. This is everything I'm getting rid of. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from the angle, but like ground up. It goes all the way over here. It's everything I'm donating. Those are all the hangers. And then this is everything I'm keeping as of right now. Um, there's still a decent amount of like socks and bras, like sports bras and stuff that I wanted to look through closely or closer in the moment. So once I go to put those away, like the getting rid of stuff pile will get smaller. But I will say like half of these clothes don't even fit me right now. So I feel kind of ridiculous keeping them. But... They sparked joy, and I liked them. So, I mean, there was tons. The amount of clothes that I just got rid of that had tags on them still was like, look at, there's a tag right there. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Like, let's see, that pink shirt never wore it. Dress never wore it. Ah, uh, Joe's me bananas. But we will survive. All right, let's move on. Okay, I got it all bagged up. I have 11, I think it's 11 bags that I'm going to donate. This is a box of clothes that my mom and my friend, oh, the light's getting it. My mom and friend Shalmer all go through. Now the hangers are all organized, which I know you already saw this, but now the stuff's all bagged up. Now I just have to conquer this. Cool. And it's 530. Awesome. Love it. This is almost like a week later from everything but <laughs> and the bags are still sitting there I just wanted to show like kind of the aftermath of everything so here let's take a look here's my tank tops and all my sports bras and then I have my swimsuits I have two drawers of swimsuits because hi I like swimsuits um and then I have all of like miscellaneous and socks Oh, and these are like pajamas and sweatpants and sh like comfy shorts. And then, and this is how the closet ended up. So I think I already showed this a little bit, but just to be on the safe side, I have all of my hangups here and there's tons of space between them. And then all of my hangups are all like my shirts are up here. I used to color coordinate them. I used to do them by sides. But I don't stick to it and then I get overwhelmed and then frustrated and it just goes to like hell on a handbasket. So we left it as is. I have the hangers hanging up backwards because after a certain amount of time, if it's something I don't wear, the hanger will be backwards. And then I know, okay, I can get rid of this. Under here, I have all the shoes. I only have a few pairs of pants because the majority of what I wear are leggings because hi, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And then, so over here, oh, I'm dropping hats behind me. Over here, I have like workout shirts and sweatshirts and stuff um, and sporting shirts that I just don't wear them very often. Like get there seasonally, but I can't get rid of them because I still wear them. And then all of my leggings, and then I organized my jewelry and like my everyday makeup, put more hooks up for my jewelry. And then I moved my earring hooks to over here they used to hang or sit on the shelves but I took the bottoms off and I just put some 3M hooks up and got them that way nothing like absolutely crazy um I still I'm not donating the, donating these bags quite yet because I'm going to go through my boys closet um in the next day or so which I'll probably get like one to two bags from them because I just did theirs recently but They both just went through a growth spurt, so they need like all their too small stuff taken out. So I'm going to do that over the next couple days, but I just wanted to wrap this video up. Um, I feel so much better. Like 
I, like I enjoy going into my closet now, which I never used to enjoy going into my closet. So hopefully it like stays this way. So yes, but that is it for today and this like beautiful, I just got done cleaning. I showered and then cleaned and just let my hair air dry. So yeah, you get what you get. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I don't know where that came from. Okay, bye.